you're saying the the balance of uh, the balance of probability the women should be in in the in the interest of equity women should be given the chance to have their voices heard and he should step aside uh, uh, till then jagmati sangwan your experience as you gave us of haryana is that do the men in such cases use their power the clout to in a way crush these inquiries or threaten or spread fear yes first of all they uh, dare to cr uh, commit such crimes uh, because they are uh, there in the position of power uh, secondly uh, uh, remaining there they continue to influence the whole uh, uh, investigation process and uh, the procedure of justice uh, for example in haryana uh, dgp haryana has constituted a sic from the side of sports minister uh, not from the side of uh, 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 victim Uh, from the assaulter side, uh, he has constituted a committee to investigate the character so of the assault. So you are saying the government, uh, you are saying the government uh, is investigating time, its own. Rajdeep, the Rajdeep, uh, uh, please give me one minute. I want to say mm -hmm. that it is not a matter of uh, one individual. The state uh, and these federations are run by the Constitution of India, and every federation has to have a. Uh, internal complaints committee uh, in this case this federation has no internal complaints committee and uh, the man who is claiming that i am not going to quit because, because i have been elected by the people of india first of all the people of india don't elect the president of uh, wfi no but uh, the sir the Ms. Sangwan, when we ask this question no no when we ask this question no, no ma'am when we ask this question to brigbushan saran singh he said no i have a committee in fact sakshi malik is part of the committee she should speak she should have spoken out earlier Uh, no, there is no such committee. There is some ethics committee. The boss. That is the the IC has no role against the boss. Committee. And uh, uh, if the federation has no internal complaints committee, mm -hmm. it can be de-recognized by the uh, uh, IOA. And, so uh, yeah, so you are saying uh, there is no committee. You are saying the first thing that should have been done was that there should have been an, a process much earlier. Because Brinda Grover, the point often made is why have these girls spoken out now? I have often heard this question being asked in the last couple of days. Why did they not speak up earlier? It costs them very high. Uh, when they have spoken out now, what has happened? Character assassination. Mm -hmm. They are being threatened. Backdoor communication. Yes. Supporters are being threatened. That is why women don't speak out. They weigh the consequences. They have put their careers, their lives, mm -hmm. their reputation, their social status. on the line by speaking out women don't speak out because the the wrestling federation of india did not give confidence because the head himself is implicated here the atmosphere there did not give confidence okay. the responsibility and the onus lies squarely on the wrestling federation and now on the government of india which is standing by him don't forget Kuldeep Sengar, the MLA, was only removed when the women of this country outraged at this MLA. Now we have a member of parliament and the chair of wrestling federation. Okay, you know, you and the saying, government is not removing him yet. In a, in a sense, the more powerful you are, the more likely you are uh, to get away. Trisha Shetty, from your uh, experience of dealing, particularly in the corporate world, do you find that that is true there? This is wrestling Can federation. Can I come in, Rajdeep? Yeah, just a minute, ma'am. Just Can let Trisha respond. Can I just say there is firstly something to be said about people who enjoy political patronage in our country or occupy seats in parliament who are also being then duly elected as presidents of sports uh, fraternities right of course there is a complete abomination of a power uh, circle here and to to reduce a repeat alleged repeat offender who has criminal cases against him down to someone with a man of thick skin is not something that Who makes the government of India look good? Again, a government of India and a sports minister who are only too happy to put their faces and put their names against any athlete who wins and gets a title. The second these athletes go and bring our country fame and repute, our Prime Minister, Honourable Prime Minister, Mr. Anurag Thakur are there in front of the media, in front of the limelight, claiming it as their own personal victory. Are in all the press banners. Where are they now? With their silence, they are actively letting down these athletes who make. the ministers and Kira, our country look good 